Okay, good morning, students. Today we have the next segment of our morphology of flowering plants. In this segment, we will be about the types and modification of root systems. So, for the types of root are concerned, there will be two types of roots are reported. One is called as tap root system. One is called as tap root system, and second is called as fibrous. Or adventitious root system. These two root systems are characteristic features of different plant groups. Like the tap root system is basically the feature of dicot plants. Dicot plants, you know it well, like Mangifera indica and the leguminous plant, whatever it is we have. Tap root system is reported there. And the fibrous root system is represented in generally in monocots, that is, especially that is monocot wheat, rice, and maize. <laughs> Students, here you have to keep in mind that how you define that tap root system and how do you define the fibrous root system. A tap root system, what you have to do? Simply, if you observe this structure, the primary root is very prominent and is growing throughout the length. That is, primary root is more dominant than the secondary and tertiary roots. And in fibrous or adventitious roots, the primary roots which appears, it disappears after very short time. It disappears and the secondary and tertiary roots which are formed here, they more develop than the primary roots. That's it is the characteristic feature of the monocot plants like wheat, rice, and maize, and it is the characteristic feature of dicot plants like leguminous plant and other like Mangifera indica. You can take it as an example. So here you have to keep in mind that one the system, how you define that taproot system. You can define the taproot system that is simple in your own words, that is that secondary and tertiary rootlets. We are called as rootlets also. Roots, you can say root also, rootlets also. The secondary and tertiary rootlets are never developed more than the primary roots. And here in fibrous root, that uh, secondary and tertiary roots are more developed than the primary root because primary root is very short lived here. It uh, disappears after a very short time. And the secondary that leads to the secondary formation of secondary and tertiary rootlets, which develop more and more, and it also develops with the time, and the primary root get disappear in a very short time. Which we are going to discuss it is modification of tap root. In tap root system, there are the modification on the basis of the storage. On the basis of storage of food, on the basis of the storage of food, storage of food, we have four different types of modifications. Pella modification of that, that is called as conical. In this modification, the shape of that particular root part it is in the form of cone, just like cone. The example is carrot. This example is carrot. Or the fusy form of the example is radish. This is turnip. And this is, you know, sugar beet. How you have to define or understand this type of structures? Very easy. When it is a cone shape, it is termed as conical. When it is in the form of fusiform, that is how you can define that fusiform form. The upper narrow, middle broader and once again the lower narrow. This is the uh, definition of fusiform root modification which is the storage basis. On the storage basis, the fusiform that is the upper narrow portion, that is we can say it is the narrow part. 
it's a broad that's a middle broader and once again the tapering that is tapering end the lower end that is the structure of a fusiform root that is upper narrow part the middle broader and the lower tapering end now in the case of nappy form as you know the nappy that is used for the uh, in homes for the children kids newborns ke liye hum log use karte hain nappy is having a upper broader portion and lower tapering portion simply you have to find the upper broad and lower tapering and in this tuberous root modifications in this there is no any definite shape is there that is called as tuberous root of tap root modifications now one thing you have to keep in your mind here you have to remember this name of the plants as well as if you if you remember the botanical name also that will be very good because sometimes in the examination it may be the sugar beet it may be beta vulgaris jaise iska naam hai hamara scientific name hum jante beta vulgaris hai ye turnip hai turnip ka hum log brassica rapa isko kehte hain jo hamara radish hai it is refinus sativus and the carrot is called as daucus carota